Remember that we we took football up because it's fun at the end of the day, you know, and the more fun you make it, the better the learning environment it is. Hi, I'm Coach Gaz, uh, and I'm one of the coaches here at Little League. Um, just a phenomenal really, it was a great experience and it was one of those, it was probably the best course I've ever done in my life, you know I've done bachelor's degrees in my time, I'm looking at master's degrees but uh, this year for course just by far blew the others away, it was every day you learned, you was going home and struggling to sleep at night because um, you were just thinking so much all the time you know, uh, brain constantly ticking, it was a great experience for sure. Um, probably watching, there was one of the tutors there, he was an older guy and he put on a session on defending the final third and just the way he coached was phenomenal and everybody was talking about this guy saying how good he is and I thought really is he actually going to be that good? They were saying in 35 years of being in the industry they've never seen a better coach. He actually surpassed the hype uh, which shocked me, he was unbelievable just the intensity he got out of people even though they'd been already running for four hours he had them running like it was the first time they was running so uh, that was probably the most memorable moment seeing this this session on defending the final third from just an amazing coach really so we had um, Christoph Barra, Andrew Driver and uh, one of my tutors was Kevin Thompson ex-professional uh, centre defensive mid for Rangers Too much to pick from. <laughs> um, I think one of the big things was humility was probably my biggest learning curve there. The importance of just staying humble and being able to motivate the players and keep them intense through being humble your, yourself. It was more about how you are as a person rather than the drills. It was, you know, the theory was if you're humble, you're a great motivator. You can make a bad drill great and still make it a great learning opportunity so um, I think humility was the big thing being able to just laugh at yourself and enjoy remember that we we took football up because it's fun at the end of the day you know and the more fun you make it the better the learning environment it is the more you learn um, I'm, I'm hoping that we can look to bring that that next level in now a lot of the quotations in the course was what would you do for example, if this was Steven Gerrard, how would you coach Steven Gerrard? Or how would you coach Ronaldo in this situation? What do you want from that professional player? So it was more about taking it from youth development football to actually professional level development football. So hoping to just bring that extra professional edge, a little bit more knowledge. We got an abundance of materials, so I took notes, we got given PowerPoint presentations, um, booklets, things like that. So for me, um, it's going to be a case of now the coaches, it's a big sharing environment here. We like to, if somebody goes away on a course and learns, we come back, we reflect and we talk together. We're already looking at creating a little coaching seminar, if you like, a coaching session that's going to be practical out on the field where I'm going to work with the coaches and some of the players and just show them some of the little tips I learned. Hoping to do a little session where I can drop little tips and hints in there for the guys and share that with uh, experience, is a, experience is a wonderful thing, um, but you have to be careful with that because you could repeat year one 20 times, which means then there's been no progression. These courses, as we've seen in football now, the game is constantly evolving and changing. Even if you go back five years, the game's a different stage now. These courses are great to just keep your knowledge up to date with everything, um, and they're a good confidence booster. It's not always just about the course, it's the people you meet there on these courses. You get to meet some very knowledgeable people and you get to learn from them as well. So again, you're gaining experience through other people's experiences. So it's not just about the course, it's about who you're working with as well for sure.